the illest gentleman around, the Far East Movement. Hey, hey. What's up, guys? What's going on? Just congrats. Happy to be here. Yeah, congrats on the video Thank dropping. You. Does the video drop or does the song drop? The Both. video dropped. We dropped a song about, I'd say, a month ago. No, but do you say that the same thing? Like, you drop a video and you drop a song, you drop it all. Yeah. Drop, drop it. it like it's hot. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <Drop>. So, <laughs> it's already doing so well. And, and you you released it on Maker Music, which is an interesting way to release a music video instead of on your own YouTube channel. Why did you guys decide to make that decision? Um, well, it was random. We have some friends over at Maker. And it was something where we wanted to do a music release different. We heard it was the first of its kind. Yeah. So we collaborated with Maker. We got in. We sat down at first and we played them the song. And they loved it. And we're like, let's do a collaboration with a music video. We're friends with a lot of people that have channels on Maker. So let's get involved and do some like really sick, weird cross-pollination thing. And that's what the video is. Is this cross-pollination the future? I mean, as we all figure out ways to stand out in this space, you know, music videos, you could say YouTube brought them back, right? But like, how do you stand out? And, and is this a new model? I, I think it's definitely a new model. It's, it really shows that, because a lot of music pops off on YouTube first or online first. And sometimes these music videos don't really get seen and, you know, on TV and whatnot. So, you know, finding out like cool, creative ways to release on YouTube and online and really cater it for that is kind of the new way to put out stuff. Yeah. So. What's it mean to be illest? I mean, literally, as I'm looking in the monitor, I'm like, ill, ill, <coughs> ill, ill. <laughs> what the you hell? Have to see <laughs> what can I do? What can I do? You gotta definitely have a lot of phlegm and yeah. yeah okay. Shake oh. hands with a lot of people and don't wash your hands afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, I guarantee you'll be ill. It's <laughs> yes. yeah. the crazy is we just came back from uh, Australia and I got this definite um, down under world. Cough. I thought it was like a Demi Moore thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> smoky voice. You know, smoky. it's sexy, smoky. Yeah, but what does it mean for you for <laughs> to be ill? Well, the inspiration for the song was, do you remember that movie Office Space? Yeah. Where it's like, uh, dude's in the car and he's just like reciting just this like ill gangster rap. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden somebody walks by and he's just like chilling. Or like the, the, the scene where like they grab the baseball bats and they walk. To, to beat up the uh, fax machine. Yeah. You know, just that feeling of feeling so mother ill and we just thought, yo, we gotta, we gotta make a soundtrack to that. Um, and that's kind of the anthem. And you had so many great collaborators on this that, are, you know, YouTube stars, also Riff Raff, who we love here, what's trending he's been on. Um, but tell me about all those YouTubers. And you've worked with YouTubers in the past, which I, I love to see that you guys have collaborated with the community before. Yeah, you said you were friends with some of our friends yeah, Kev Jumba, Kev Jumba and yeah. that whole crew. And now yeah. uh, with Maker, obviously, they're stars. Tell me about working with some of those folks. They're hilarious. There's yeah. one dude. Right, what, what, what that? Peter Gilroy, Steve Green. Yeah, uh, was, it, was it Peter? The dude who did the, uh, the Jim Brewer impersonation? Oh, uh, yeah. I, I That'd be, that's something Bunions, like, yeah, man. Like Peter. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we, uh, yeah, it, a lot of the, the Maker dudes are really cool. You know, they, uh, I mean, on set, they turned it up more than any other video we've ever had. We've done. You know, we've had videos with comedians or just, you know, some amazing guest appearances, but the energy on the set for the illest, like, there was stripping going on. There wow. was, you know, it so was, it was a real party. It was one of those, yeah. It was, it was dude stripping, so it was funny. Which is a party in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's why I have all of you here right now. Don't you see I'm just chilling? Here, waiting. Right. What, for us to take our clothes off? <laughs> no. Not gonna happen. I want to remind you guys, I'm in the chat room right now live. If you have any questions for Far East Movement, please ask them here. <coughs> we already have a couple. Uh, YouTubeaholic asks, how does it feel to be awesome? <laughs> Real great question. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, you're not, you know it's not easy. You're awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. You're, what is they, their name? YouTubeaholic. YouTubeaholic is awesome for tuning in. Thank you. We also have uh, Zaidu Husun. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, any chance for more collaboration with Tasha and Tiger JK? Oh. Oh, that, that would be cool. We actually, we talked about it. Yeah. Yeah, we talked about doing uh, one more song with Tiger JK. And I mean, since uh, Tasha's his wifey, hopefully she'll get on there for a verse. Yeah, absolutely. We'll wait. We're waiting on it. When they come back to uh, LA, we'll probably make something happen. 
I got asked about Riff Raff. We've had him here. Um, tell us this: what's really going on behind the braids and the bling? Who's the real Jody High Roller? We actually uh, we took a lot of time to just you know talk a lot about like uh, philosophers like Plato mm -hmm. and his thoughts on Aristotle. Mm -hmm. You know, I played a lot of chess. He's actually amazing. He's the captain of his chess team in high school. No way. And he makes a great <laughs> Earl Grey. <laughs> yeah, he does. Earl Grey team. I can see that. No, he really, it's just the right amount of we'll cream. Pick you up. And gold platinum little teacups. Versace, Versace teacups. Versace, 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 Versace China. Well, his, his sister's like a biologist or something. He really? comes from a smart family. Oh, no, oh. You know, though, he, that like, explains we, a lot. We asked him to break down some of his lines. Because yeah, we were like, genius. what does that mean? And, and when he broke it down, we're like, oh, damn. Oh, for real. Young lyrics. Triple entendres and Tangerine, all that. Tangerine, yeah. tambourine from the West Wing. Yeah. Figure that one out. <laughs> yeah. He's not that? just blurting out words. That's incredible. I was going to do a segment on decoding Riffcraft, and uh, I probably should have done it. I thought you'd have yeah. been like, no, but you guys do that in your everyday life with him. Teriyaki soup with the lemon phantom. <laughs> that is amazing. Well, part of this whole uh, single, you also asked fans to submit their favorite illest memes based on the song to uh, oh, yeah. Tumblr. They did a great job. Yeah, well, Some of those are raw. I thought this was a really cool idea because you, I love how you guys use social media overall to get people involved. I'm glad you mentioned that there were users submitted. Some people might get offended or whatnot, but yeah, they're all people. Not you guys. Our fans had fans. submitted it, yeah. and we just put them up Always on the Always blame it on the but, fans. Because some of them are cold, eyes cold. cold. <laughs> well, we actually picked out some of our favorite examples. Oh, no. So are you ready to take a look and give us your take? Yeah, let's, let's start with this one. Run this monitor over here. I'm so <laughs> young. Yeah. Oh. oh no. <laughs> yeah, that's a good oh. one. Oh, <laughs> America. Yeah, with the <coughs> buddy. Next one. It yes. Ah, oh, nice. Ninja that's Turtles. Yeah. Always a great reference. Cool. And, and that was when. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, funny. How would you rate these? Oh, Illinois Street. <laughs> Cookie oh, yeah. Monster. I like Ooh, that with, one. With, with the bling on, though. We should put that one up on our Instagram. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, you got to do it. Do you, do you guys do it all? You guys do it all yourselves. Instagram, yeah. all of it. For sure. What's the secret behind the Far East Movement social media machine? Um, it's about being a troll. Yeah. Oh, you got to be, like <laughs> a, <laughs> gotta be nice. a legit troll and just obsessed, yeah. I we'll love it. What's next for you guys? Anything you're dropping next? We're Dropping. working. Yeah, we're working on our album. We, we really just finally figured out the sound. Illis will definitely be on the album. Um, we got, uh, we've been getting in with a really cool production team and just like record digging, like old school DJing, going through old school hip hop records, listening to like Moby, uh, Fatboy Slim, a lot of like up-tempo records that really bring hip hop sounds in. So expect a, a different sound from the Far East Movement this album. That is super cool, excited for that. Well, Far East Movement, everyone. Yeah.